Howdy folks and welcome to Hawkmire Outdoors. On this episode, I got some backwoods beef and mash for you. Definitely gonna be some backwoods gourmet cooking. So, y'all stay tuned. Start this backwoods beef and mash. I'm gonna go over some of the items or ingredients that you're gonna need. First thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need some, uh, a lemon, some onion, Worcestershire, olive oil, some butter, and uh, the roast beef there, half a beef bouillon cube, some garlic, some gourmet burger seasoning, about a tablespoon of, of uh, flour, and the instant mashed potatoes. I'm gonna be using the mess kit and a Stanley cup. And you're also gonna need some water for the potatoes. That is the ingredients you're gonna need for this recipe. I got about two cups of water in here. I'm gonna get it going. I want some coals. It doesn't have to be super hot. Just so it incorporates the uh, instant mashed potatoes. I got the onions and the garlic in the pan with the butter and the olive oil. And I'm just gonna cook them up about halfway because they still gotta cook a little bit more with the flour on them. And we're just gonna cook it up. The onions and the garlic are about eh, halfway done. I'm gonna go ahead and put this uh, flour in there, about a tablespoon, a little bit more. And I'm gonna stir that up, get all those onions coated up, and cook it to a certain point. So it's about brownish, I guess. And our onions are pretty much done. They got all the uh, flour cooked up there. We're gonna take uh, that beef mix. We put a little bouillon cube in it, half the bouillon cube. And we're gonna go ahead and just pour that right in. We're gonna let this cook up. It's gonna thicken up. It's gonna be real good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and add some of the seasoning. Got a little bottle of Worcestershire. Put a little bit of that in there. Pour your burger seasoning in there. And we'll let that cook up. The last thing for this recipe, add a little bit of lemon juice in there. About half of one. And you just let it finish cooking up. It's gonna thicken up on you. Next thing we need to get going is the mashed potatoes. The water is plenty hot. We're gonna add our mashed potatoes into that. Again, it's about two cups. I'm just gonna incorporate that, stir it up. Well, this is all done. I don't know how long it took, maybe 10, 15 minutes. Mashed potatoes are all good. Gonna get some iron up a plate here. Some of that gravy. And a little sloppy, but that is a finished product. Well, that is another mess kit meal for you. Came together real nice. I like to try to find items that are non-perishable so you can take on the trail with you. You know, you don't have to worry about getting a refrigerator or keeping it cold or something. Yeah. But I'm already gonna try a little bit here. Yep. I've already broke into mine. I know it's good. So. Down the hatch. If, little critique, it would have been better with real mashed potatoes, but you know, I've wanted to find something that was light. Take on the, you know, didn't have to worry about all the weight. Instant mashed potatoes are like a staple food of hikers. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And everything like for that. Sure. You know, this is good. This is, I mean, really, 
Mm. It's good. I'm not. Maybe some mushrooms next time. Been really good in it too, but mushrooms wouldn't be bad. But maybe some wild mushrooms. Yeah, wild mushrooms would be really good. Well, Hawkins, another meal well done. Oh yeah. Um, but just want to say thanks for watching. Thank you for all the subscriptions lately. I mean, it doesn't cost anything. It means a lot to us. So yeah. if you're yeah. on the fence about it, go ahead and hit that button. We'd appreciate it. But uh, we'll keep more interesting videos coming your way like this. So we'll catch you next time.